Greetings, football lovers from all over the world. Uh, welcome to the Yellow Corner, a segment on Masanda Wana Fan Vlog, a YouTube channel by Masanda Wana football supporters for Sundowns supporters. Raps, how are you? I'm not even going to Hey, man, I'm not too well. I'm not too well. Um, I think I'm coming down with flu. Uh, Saturday, we were singing more So, yeah, I think the Kamoraudi Dila Lemna know, but yeah, uh, it's job, it's job. Uh, we had to preview our quarterfinal match uh, away to Petro uh, uh, Duluanda. Uh, we're playing them on Saturday evening. And yeah, let's uh, get down to it, Raps. Uh, Petro, uh, there have been a surprise package, I think, uh, in this year's uh, 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 tournament, Champions League tournament. Uh, do you think they can cause an upset, uh, not just on Saturday by beating us, but by progressing to the semis? Look, I think first of all, uh, in the group stages, they've done very well. Uh, they came out uh, as the second best in their group, and they were up against a, a, a tough oppositions like uh, with that Casablanca and and uh, Zamalek. As much as Zamalek, they are a finished team, but uh, you know, going to the uh, North uh, uh, Africa, it is always going to be tough for you to to, to get a positive result. But they've done very well, and also. Uh, they managed to beat uh, 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 with that Casablanca in Angola, so that, that was a, a positive result. But you know, uh, Champions League once uh, Lefica Mo the knockout staging, it becomes a different tournament. Like that's where the, the, the teams Lebona they step up and they try by all means not to be uh, knocked out. So in the group stages they've done very well, but uh, in the knockout stages it, it is going to be tough for them. Uh, to even uh, a knockout Mamelu Sanders because of this is a team out of all the teams in the KF Champions League that got uh, more points. So for 2016 and other teams about 2015 year classes. So it is going to be tough for them. But I believe if they get positive results go Angola, uh, uh, Yona Petro, they stand the chance of maybe uh, progressing to the ne next stage. Yeah, no, they've done really well, man. Even though I feel like uh, uh, Zamalek is Canada uh, has been at club uh, like some clubs here at home, but they've done uh, 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 fairly well. They've not been fairly well. They've done really well to get to the uh, group stages, uh, to the knockout stages, and to the Champions League. And uh, for them to be juggling both uh, the league and so the Champions League is not easy. I mean, uh, Mo Likinya Angola they are currently first. They've played twenty three games. They won 18, uh, they drew four, they lost one. They have scored 57 goals. Uh, they considered 13 goal difference. They have won like 44. They are currently sitting on 58 points. And then when you look at their standings coming out of the group, they played six games. They won three, they drew two, they lost one. Uh, they scored nine, considered eight uh, goal difference, yeah, uh, one, and then uh, 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 they uh, amassed 11 points. So... They 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 they're doing really well. Um, but you look at the number of goals that they're scoring in their domestic league and the number of goals that they're conceding, né? there's a huge gap. They concede they're conceding less and scoring a lot. But in the Champions League, they're conceding a, 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 a quite a lot, even though they considered most goals in one game. Uh, uh, but it shows you the level between the two might be a, 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 a well apart. Hence, I think Sundowns might be might, might be way too strong uh, uh, for Borna. Raps, let's talk about uh, our current technical team, our new technical team. Not Okay, they're no longer new, man. Our current technical team. Now, I feel like uh, previously under uh, 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 Coach Pito, he was maybe a bit pragmatic when he went away you are about a, a, a draw or a, a loss if it's not by more than uh, two goals he would be okay with it that's what that's what, like like okay let me make a, a simple example i support liverpool uh during uh, uh, uh the times that rafa benitez but rafa was very pragmatic when he went away he made sure uh, uh we come back to anfield uh, maybe got a draw or a, 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 a slight loss in jail, or maybe a one goal. Or yeah, whereas Klopp goes to where he goes away, he goes for a win. 
I think the, those are the similarities between uh, the, the, the current uh, technical team and coach Bizo. And I know someone is going to say, I said Bizo give Benitez and the guys, the other guys get, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying <laughs> the way we, we play right now on the, the current technical team uh, is, is uh, different. Your thoughts on this? Look, uh, before we started shooting, uh, I watched our highlights when we played uh, Pedro de Luanda. I think it was two seasons back or three seasons back. And I checked our starting line now. Uh, we had, on that's the, the right back, we had Ilibusa as the left F, that's the left back and those are players who don't usually overlap and going forward they don't give you much in the middle field we had Mabunda we had Kekan we had Andy Lejali. so it, it, it already tells you that Hanegia uh, go away few seasons back we just wanted a safe result then we will get the job done half a more high but uh, 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 since Mangoba Steve and, and Roland, things are different. They, they want to, to, to kill you at, at your uh, own backyard. So things have turned out, things are different. We don't no longer uh, try to get a safe result. We, we, we go all out, whether, whether we lose or win. But uh, taking a risk uh, comes with a, a, a good outcomes. So, so uh, like, I, I'm, I'm impressed how the way Roland got things are go away. Yeah, no, same here, man. Same here. Uh, I feel like uh, we, when we go away, we and 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 and, and the starch are sundowns. Uh, uh, I mean, we're one of the big boys in the continent now, Wabo. So already when we get there, the 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 name yeah, sundowns, it, it it already terrifies the opponents, Wabo. And so uh, why not use that to our advantage? Beat them, Rasalikamu. Uh, Tanelin, Wabo. Raps, uh, I'm, I, I'm someone who is clueless about football, but I bet. Convince me, Jorge, after what has happened since we won the Champions League, getting knocked out in the quarterfinals three times, in the semis once, and not making the group, at, the, making, making it out of the group at some stage. Convince me of this season, so, things will be different and sundowns will go all the way so that I can put my last sense on on on, on, uh, on on sundowns winning the Champions League? Look, I think our performance in the group stages, Sente uh, we are we are going all out. Like, uh, we are going all out. We want to, to win uh, uh, this tournament. And I believe we still, st- we, we stand a chance of uh, winning this tournament because of already beating Allahli uh, in Egypt. Sente send a, a strong message uh, across uh, uh, the continent as well that this team, uh, they really mean business uh, this season. So, look, as much as we've played well, but there are still games to, 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 to play and, and win. So, it's not yet guaranteed, but the way into Jamangate, I, I see Mamelu Sandals uh, uh, winning the KF Champions League or reaching the, 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 the finals. Champions League or nothing. Reaching the finals won't be good enough this season. Um, le- I think I feel like we are picking at the right time, Rapelang. I feel I feel like it's not like we've had a bad season, eh? but I think uh, uh, we're reaching optimum level right now uh, at the right, at the perfect time. And then there's the resurrection here, Gaston Serino, whom I think will be very very vital in the last. A, a, a few matches in the next few matches to the Champions League. Uh, your thoughts on 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 on, on the fact that uh, we seem to be uh, reach, reaching uh, the uh, the, uh, the perfect peak at uh, at the right time and uh, Serino uh, thinking a uh, uh, res- resurrection. Look, I think it is great for the team and uh, to see the so far, and also it gives the technical team a, a, a broad. Uh, uh, advantage in terms of whatever Hamang Alcio Serino is there, so it gives them a, a, a headache, which is good for the team because of that's what you need uh, towards the, 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 the end of the season. Because of remember, we are still in the semi final of uh, the FA Cup, we, we, we are left with five games to, to, to win the league, and also we are still in the quarter finals of the uh, Champions League. So you need all your best players fit. 
and ready. So having a Serino feed, I think it will help us uh, uh, in the upcoming games as well as uh, Josh Malulek. And if you look at our injury list, in the half so that means everyone on the hook, and that's what you need uh, as a citizen to go fail. Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. Uh, expectations from this match. Uh, now I expect Sundowns to be on the front foot. Eh? I think I, 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 whether we play home or away, I always expect Sundowns to be on the front foot. Yeah, but I mean, this season, uh, just before our last game, the, our league game against Golden Arrows, I saw Opta Jabu posting where we've scored 80 goals in all competition this season. Eh? And then by the end of that game, we had made it 86. So we are 14 from 100. So that tells you we are we've been offensive, we've been on the front foot. So I expect Sundowns to go there and be on the front foot. And having watched that team and having looked at the stats and at how many goals they're conceding and having looked at how they, they defend, I would be absolutely mad if Sundowns doesn't come back home with at least a, a, a two goals scored away. I don't know or care how many goals those guys will score, but Sundowns should be scoring two or more goals against a, 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 a Pedrone. Uh, I expect us to continue with the same formation and almost the same lineup. Ne? Uh, 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 with with Kimang, uh, Shikale, Le Gaston being uh, uh, our two false nines. Ne? And uh, there's one thing that I saw uh, quite a lot, especially in the first half when you played Golden Arrows. Ne? Shiga would drop into as close as where uh, zone he move from zone 14, drop into a uh, zone uh, 12, and then uh Kimang uh, Mudau would occupy the zone 15 and 18 area. Shalu would get into the zone uh, 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 14. Wabo. So that movement uh, um, between the three of them would cause a uh, trouble for the opponents because they don't know how to pick them up. Wabo. But the disappointing thing is that the final ball, Yamudau, is not great, man. Uh, he's, he's been brilliant uh, throughout the season. Uh, he has that room, more like a zone 15 and 18, and a lot of room. But his final ball, most of the time, is disappointing. So I don't know, man, if he can work on the final ball because the movement uh, between the three of them, it causes a lot of trouble for the opponents. So, and then... Uh, with with with, with uh, Gaston playing Le 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 Le, le Shika Mole for false nine, you know, there, 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 there's a difference between there's a huge difference actually between uh, uh, Gaston and playing there and when there's uh, Kima, uh Domingo playing there because you know? mm -hmm. uh, uh, Gaston brings a lot of creativity. You know? He scores goals, he assists, and also. He drags the player out of a position in the ball. There was a point in the first half where he was in our uh, 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 half. So you, he's supposed to be uh, up up there close to Shika, but he's almost he's in our half. That tells you uh, that he's moved with a, a, maybe a, a, a CDM that was supposed to stay or the center back here to Mezileo on our ball. So with Domingo, the difference is that uh, Domingo work rate are high. His pre pressing uh, of the ball is a uh, 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 top, top, top notch. Gaston will press, but he will not press as much as uh, 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 Domingo or Abo. So they, they 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 bring a different uh, 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 facets to the game, Wabo. And then the one thing that Sundowns does so well that I expect them to do is suffocate these guys, suffocate them in their own half. Their only option is to play, should be to play, uh, launch the ball up um, up high, and uh, it's a 50-50. It could be theirs, it could be ours, or almost. but I expect Sundowns to suffocate them and keep them in, in, in their own half. Uh, there's something, man, that I've been monitoring when uh, when Mosa is playing with, with, with uh, Kima Mandela, then. Their, their partnership is not as good as yeah, Mandela Le, Le, Le and Mandela Le, Le uh, uh, they telepathic. Uh, 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 they've been playing together for a long time. Wabo. Excuse me. That thing that we spoke about, yeah, Arrows, when we said Highline Yarona, uh, Arrows can play a long ball. By they played a long ball or two, and they almost uh, capped, uh, uh, 
uh, punished us well because uh, I don't know whether the key, key, key communication is not so great between the two because one would uh, 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 push and then the other would stay. And most of the time, it's Musa who stays. Ga, game ya, summer field, ne? Uh, second half, I was more, more, more well sit, standing. It was almost straight Lemosa. So I kept my eye on him. And sometimes our players would be would press Babeba Fitle Kamu Kamu Hafung like a, 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 the opponent. Né? And he'd be the only one standing on in our half. And I'm thinking, yes, if they play a long ball, it, mm-hmm. it kills them to our offside. And just beco- before we scored, I think the third goal, they 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 they, they broke through. And hit into a uh, palo So I think I think we should uh, uh, they should work on it or Oshin should start uh, this match wabo. These guys Rapelang <clears throat> uh, King uh, Pedro ne, they can't deal with the cross at all. They can't deal with crosses. I mean uh, they've only in the group in the group stages that this year's Champions League they've only uh, the only one and uh, the aerial jewel stadium per is. 37.8 percent were above, and if you look at the goals that they considered against Raiders, they they were into uh, crosses. I think three of those were crosses were above. And there's a player that I think we should try target in that team, uh, Pedro Pinto. He's uh, 185 centimeters tall. Uh, he was number four. He's always found one thing. Uh, he's either facing his own goal or pressing where he shouldn't be. And most of the time, for for, for I don't understand how they concede so many goals apart from the crosses. They concede the goals where the opponents play a direct through ball that uh, that uh, 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 splits uh, both uh, center backs. So with Shika and Gaston as the number ten zone, I think in that area, mom, this guy would be playing the battle. Jahamu na tuabo. And when 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 Kimang Shalu moves to a uh, 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 nine, he should uh, play. On this guy into a shoulder above. The one thing that they do really well, okay, they they're four four two playing side. Né? Uh, they move the ball to the sides, né? and then when you try and uh, shut down space, instead of playing playing across inside the box, they play it. Uh, 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 they they pull it back for the oncoming middle fielders or they are number twenty one. I just forgot his name. He makes. A faint run, he pretend as if to go into the box about and then ball it like it all I now about on the edge of the 18. Yes, I've been talking for a long time. Uh, expectations look, uh, from the game, uh, overall on its own, I'm expecting an open game because of this. Uh, are two teams that need the result, uh, more especially Pedro because of the want to, to get the job done. Uh, at home and also the a, 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 a scoring team so you expect them to, to, to be offensive and great chances and also uh, if they are going to be too naive I think that's why they are going to be uh, punished in this game because of they should remember that they are up against a, a, a ruthless team that can punish any team in the continent so they should be smart not not be carried away uh, by their uh, performance uh, in the league and also uh, from Mamluk Sundowns, look, I'm expecting a team that will go for 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 for, for positive results so that uh, as Jega go Johannesburg, we don't have to dig too deep uh, uh, for the results. Get the positive results away when we get home. You know that uh, uh, you already have an uh, advantage uh, in the tie. And also uh, against against Egypt and against Al Hilal when we played against Al Al in Egypt and against uh, Al Hilal in Sudan. I think we, we, we showed uh, uh, some uh, fearless uh, uh, character. That's what I want to see when we go to Angola. We should uh, be fearless. We should go all out and take the game to these uh, uh, oppositions that we are going to face. And also, we should adjust very quickly uh, in the game. We shouldn't uh, wait for the second half to, to go for a kill. I think uh, once kick off a trauma, that's why we should uh, uh, be switched on and, uh, and adjust uh, very well. And also, one thing I, I, I want to add is that, uh, look, this team, they are, they are offensive and their fullbacks love going forward. They have a number 13, which, who is, who is uh, Ganier, like he loves going forward. But uh, once the oppositions regain 
against the the the, the ball, uh, it becomes difficult for him to track back and his pace uh, uh, gets exposed. So that that's what you want uh, Mamelu Sanders to, to to capitalize. And also, what I've seen is that the team that loves to play an offside trap and their defense, they are not keeping the same straight line. And uh, the other one is is retreating, which is going back, and the others are, are pushing a, a a little bit up so that to 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 do that offside rep and uh, against uh, in Sagrada Esperanza, uh, they, they they got punished. So we want Mamelu Sanders to to stay on the line and make those runs, and also the timing of our passes needs to be uh, proper so that we know whoever is going to to make a run. Uh, is in an onside uh, position, and also their their, their defense. Look, it, it is not good, but you think it is good when you look at their games and mm. their stats mm. uh, uh, in the league because of, they are not tested in the league. But if you watch Kev Champions League, that that's where their defense it is uh, uh, tested. And uh, one one thing I, I think we should do is that get behind their middle field. So that you, you are you are faced with their defense and you expose them because of once you get behind their middle field, that's where you are likely to to create chances. Their middle field it is very strong and they win a lot of balls, but their defense I don't think complements the the, the, the middle field because of the defense uh, 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 can be found one thing. So that that is what I am expecting from Mamelodi Sundowns and also the team that doesn't deal well with crosses. And Modau, sometimes Dao like is is close to the bar line, but he wants to get past the, the defense instead of making a cross between uh, uh, the goalkeeper, let the, the, the defense and Shalulila would attack that ball. So I think Lena should be quick in terms of releasing the ball or Achara Bolanyani wait for our players to make runs inside the box. Apelang Kahiso and also Mutu. Eh, Rabs, I don't know if now you're keeping info for yourself or you 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 shared with your friends on Twitter. You mentioned a player on Twitter, uh, I can't remember his name, uh, how dangerous he is. Uh, and then you don't mention him at a preview. What's going on? Look, I got some kind of quit the scowena. They have their, their, their number 26 uh, uh, forward. You can play as a 10 or sometimes you can play as a number 9. But you usually plays as a 10 when uh, Yanu, the number 9 striker, at the league game. And their number 26 is a Brazilian. I Brazilian, think that, yeah. that, yeah, he's very good. Like, when he plays as, a, as their vocal point, like his positioning and his movement inside the box, as well as the anticipation. I think it is very brilliant. Like, he knows how to space himself uh, himself around the box and how to finish as well. And also, like, tactically, he is very brilliant. That You can see that he he has Brazilian in Yana. So, I think that that player should keep an eye on him. And usually, when he plays as a, 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 a number nine, that's where like he's very uh, dangerous, but when he plays as a, as a 10, I don't think oh, dangerous how uh, because of uh, when you play a number 10, that's where you know, when you should unleash those defense splitting passes. But Nike Monal more dangerous when he plays as a number nine. So he's not a Brazilian from Mozambique. Oh, can I can I master or remember Brazilian from Angola of Mozambique? Yeah, they, they, they have quite a lot of uh, uh, Brazilian contingent in their yeah. team. They, 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 they also have a few uh, Portuguese players. Who are also, yeah, we, everyone knows how, how, how skillful and the flair that the Brazilians uh, bring to uh, the team. Raps, your Brazil, your Sundowns lineup. Look, uh, I'll start Denis Sonyango. Uh, I would have. Kulisom Dao right back. Uh, I would have Roshin the Rook and also Brian Onyango as my center backs. And I'll start Laila Ki, Kamu left in. Then uh, in the middle field, I'll start AJ Limido. Then uh, up front, my front foot would be 
Zwani, Serino, Ralani, Le, Shalulim. When I watched the highlights and one game, yeah, 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 Pedro, I think this game would suit someone like Tabel because of their pitch, first of all, a hole, and they play an offside trap like I've, I've mentioned. And with Pesia Tabel, I think Regaja, and also like I've highlighted their left back, Orato Pusha, hole, and he leaves the space behind. So a guy like Tabel, Okamo right there, would be very uh, 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 crucial. But uh, uh, I would have him on the bench. The thing is, I, I'm not sure if he's fit. Was he on the bench on Wednesday? No. Yeah, so I don't think uh, they, 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 they'll play him. Uh, just like uh, Kimang Domingo, he's not been available in the last few games. And Gaston has come out and... Hey, it's difficult to go with a lineup or sundowns. So, yeah, man. Uh, I think I'll go for the same lineup. Uh, as 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 absurd as it is when we're dropping uh, Mosa, but I, th- I feel like it's crucial to have uh, the two centre backs who've built a solid uh, a partnership playing in this game. And yeah, I mean, it's, he had a stellar game, even had an assist. I think the guys gave him an 8.5 on the uh, uh, review. So uh, sadly, you have to you know, uh, uh, have 11 players only. So I'll go for the same, same lineup. I think we'll score two goals. I think we'll concede. They they have goals in them. We said we said arrows have a goal in them, and we gave them <laughs> six three. So I think I think I think we'll win three two away. I'm saying. Uh, Lena, I agree. Like uh, Skao, they have a goal in them. Uh, so, but we 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 we'll win this game. So I'm going for two one. Kimo mama kwa. Shadule will score. And uh, Tembazwani will score. Uh, Mandela will score. Tembazwani will score as well as uh, Shalulile. And yeah, that's that Masandawana. That's another installment of the Yellow Corner. And good luck to the boys, man. All the best of luck. Make us proud and make us dream of this quadruple, man. And we can't wait to uh, for you to come back and we give you our full support uh, when we play at home in FNB. Uh, uh, Gadi. Saturday, uh, uh, that, that was Saturday. Can you remember the date? But yeah, uh, all the best of luck to the boys and the technical team. Let's get a positive result away from home. And thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, the guys will bring you the, pre- the review of the match. Scom was gonna eat me alive for saying preview the review of the match, uh, uh, either on Saturday, uh, late or uh, Sunday, uh, 6 a.m. Cheers, Masanda Wana Shab Shab Ndogish. Sorry.